Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today we are checking out the Veilton EP1 volume slash war pedal. So this one is a two-in-one pedal. We got an active volume pedal and a classic crybaby style war pedal in one unit. And it's also a very small pedal. You can see it here compared to the Boss DS1. Let's take a closer look. So basically on this pedal we got one input and the 9V power connection on the right side. On the left side we got one output jack. So when we plug in the DC cable, you can see here the green LEDs. So that means the volume mode is on. So when the pedal stands like this you got no volume. When you turn it down you got full volume. So and here is this little foot switch. If you press this foot switch, you are in the wall mode. So you can see it on the red LEDs and you can use it as a wall pedal and you press it again, you have a volume pedal. Yeah, that's basically it. So the price for this pedal is 67 euros on the Toman online shop. And in my opinion, for what you get with that pedal, it's very affordable. So I will play into a clean amp, the Marshall Origin 5C and I will use the Joyo Maximum Overdrive behind the war pedal first and later I will try the overdrive pedal before the war pedal and we can hear what that sounds like. I will also use the Sonicake Digital Reverb for some ambient sounds and at the end of the video I will also check out if this pedal is changing your guitar tone when it's in your signal chain. So let's start the demo.
So that was my demo of the Veilton EP1 volume slash war pedal. So in my opinion this is a great pedal. I really enjoyed the classic crybaby war sounds and I also really liked the volume pedal. And I personally couldn't hear any tone differences when the pedal is in the signal chain. So that's great too. As always I put some affiliate links down in the video description so you can check out the pedal and also support my channel if you want. Alright, that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.